I'm Karen Jenkins, founder and owner of KRJ Consulting, a small woman-owned 8A firm based in Columbia, South Carolina. Our core business right now is providing professional administrative and IT support services to the federal government, and we're also looking at branching out into the corporate arena as well. Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be an entrepreneur, so let's just start there. I was working in a bank for 12 years, um, then went to work for a mortgage bank for 11 years, and just knew I would finish my career in corporate. Unfortunately, in 2007, I got laid off right before the mortgage crisis happened. And I actually got laid off and was led to open a mortgage company in 2007. So you can imagine what happened in 2008. Well, in 2008, I got a call from a nonprofit in Charleston that was fighting foreclosure for the state of South Carolina. And they wanted me, because I had a mortgage banking background and a certified mortgage banking certificate, and they didn't want my mortgage company because they were part of the problem. So I actually opened up KRJ Consulting to be a service provider to family services. And we helped about 148 homes or families maintain their homes in 2008. In 2012, we transitioned because I loved working with the nonprofits. They were great, but they were slow. So we actually rebranded in 2012 and became a consulting and management firm. Our road has been rocky. We started out in 2012, we rebranded, got into federal government space in 2013. We got our first federal contract in 2014 and we were on our way. But as an entrepreneur, I was also a family person. My father got sick in 2015. So in 2015, we lost about 70% of our revenue because I had to you know, kind of pivot and take care of him. So he passed in January of 16, started going, ramping back up, rebuilding the business and was on our way. We had gotten some additional contracts in and my son graduated from high school on June 1st of 16 and had a ruptured brain aneurysm on the 5th. So again, life crisis, had to put everything on hold and by the grace of God, he survived thriving, uh, but he was in the hospital for 37 days and then we had to relocate to Atlanta for two months for his rehab, but I was in there with my laptop sending out proposals, responding to requests for proposals, and we were blessed that we actually got some additional contracts even while he was in, the, in, in rehab in Atlanta. From that, we kind of soared. We've been continuously going after contracts, we've been winning contracts, and been able to employ people because at the end of the day, my ultimate goal was to employ people, to impact our community in a positive way, and what better way you can do that than to employ people. So the biggest challenge that I think all entrepreneurs face is you don't know what you don't know. So we have a gift, we have a talent, and we decide, okay, I'm gonna go out and leverage that gift or build that product or provide that service. And the challenge is that as an entrepreneur, that's only about 35%, maybe 40% of being an entrepreneur. It's that gift, that thing that you make. The other 65% is the business acumen. It's the understanding how to put together your operations, understanding your financials, understanding the marketing cycle and the sales cycle. And those are all things that unless you're gifted in that, you don't know. So being able to find resources, and that's what I, I tell my team, I'm confident in what I do, not because I have all the answers. I'm confident in what I do because I know that I am resourceful and that I can go out and find a variety of resources to help me come up with whatever it is that I need. So Small Business Development Center has been a key factor in my success. No cost consultants that provide you a wide variety of, of assistance. Small Business uh, Administration has been a key to my success with a lot of the classes that they've offered. Um, SCORE, another free resource that is out there to go out and obtain any information that you need. And I truly believe that it's important to have a mentor it's important to have professional development where you're going out of your normal day-to-day -day and getting educated. And it's also important to have a, a what I call a mastermind group, a group, a group of like-minded people that are all entrepreneurs that you can bounce stuff off of. The key for me for entrepreneurship is synergy. I tout synergy, I breathe synergy, I live synergy, and it's related to what I call energy and I believe that we're all responsible for the energy that we come bring into the room. With that said, if I can harness my energy and the energy of my team, at that point 
if we're all going in the same direction, we're all flowing together, there's absolutely nothing that we can accomplish. So what I do with my team, I try to do with my clients. Get them to recognize that each and every person on their team is a valuable part of that wheel, that cog, but together they have to understand the mission. They have to understand the vision of, of the leadership. And if we all know where we're going, then we can figure out how we can leverage everybody's expertise to get there.